So determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. So yung gagawin natin dito first is to analyze the given uh, figure. So sa point A, meron tayong pin reaction or hinge. So yung hinge or pin reaction ay may dawang uh, component. It is either uh, AY or vertically up or horizontally going to the left or right. So in ko na, going to the left siya. And yung AY natin is going upward kasi yung uh, truss natin is naglalay horizontally sa pin A. Next is dito sa C. So meron tayong uh, reaction na roller. So pag roller, yung reaction niyan is perpendicular to the surface. And then yung surface natin is uh, naka-incline ng 30 degrees. Thus, yung magiging reaction ng uh, roller natin ay magiging ganito. So RC. Sabihin natin yung reaction C ito. So uh, pwede natin itong uh, diagonal na force into component ng X and Y. So to do that, magiging ganito yung itsura niya. So ito na yung mga component ng RC natin. So meron tayong RCY and RCX. So now, kung angle 30 ito, therefore ito is also angle 30. So kung hindi nyo alam kung bakit naging 30, ganito yan. So kunyari, ito yung uh, surface ng roller natin at ito ay may angle na theta at ito yung uh, flat surface. So kunyari, yung perpendicular nitong slant is ganyan. And yung uh, X and Y component nito ay magiging ganito. So sabihin natin ito yung RC, ito yung RCY at RCX. So therefore, kung theta ito, therefore ito rin ay theta. So balik tayo sa problem natin. So ito na yung uh, problem natin uli. So na-distinguish na natin yung mga different kind of reaction at yung kanilang component. So now pwede na na tayo mag-summation to either A or D para ma-identify natin yung mga so summation MA is equal to 0 and condition natin na yung counterclockwise ay positive so ano yung mga external forces na present so meron tayong 3 kN so with respect to point A so assuming na ito yung lever arm natin and in natin ito ng 3 kN yung tendency ng rotation nya is clockwise so therefore minus 3 times yung distance nya to point A is ito or which is 1.5 Next is yung 4 kN So pag nilagyan nyo ng force nyo dito Yung rotation nyo is uh, Clockwise So therefore uh, Minus then 4 kN Or 4, 4 kN times Distance nyo na Ito 2 And then Meron pa tayong RCY So it is going upward Therefore Yung rotation nyo is Counterclockwise So positive RCY so, di natin alam yung value ng RCY, kaya uh, yan lang. And then, yung distance nya na 4. So, now, pwede na natin ma-solve yung RCY. So, ito magiging 4.5. Then, ito magiging minus 8. And plus RCY times 4. So, lipat natin sa kabila. Ito maging uh, 4 RCY is equals to 12.5. So, divide natin by 4. Yung RCY natin is equals to is equals to 3.125 kN. So, pwede natin yan masulat dito. Is equals to 3.125. So, may value na tayo ng RCY. So, next is so dito na tayo mag uh, set ng moment sa C para ma-identify yung value ng A natin. So, erase natin to at balita ng summation moment C. So, summation moment C, assuming na yung clockwise ay positive. So, meron tayong AY, which is positive kasi yung rotation niya is gatulad nito, clockwise times 2 plus 2, which is 4. Then, uh, ito. So, yung rotation is counterclockwise, therefore minus 4 times yung distance niya to point C, which is 2. And then, 3. Distance niya to point C is uh, 1.5, at yung rotation niya is clockwise. So, therefore, positive 3 times 1.5 equals 0. So now, ito maging 4AY plus 4.5. Itong negative 8, move natin sa kabila, maging positive 8. So 4AY is equals to move natin. So 8 minus 4.5 is 3.5. So yung AY natin ay may value na 0 0.875. So yung AY natin ay may value na 
0.875 kN. So, kung di kayo sigurado sa value na AY at RCY, so, sa mention, FOY lang ninyo nyan. And yung equals nyan is itong 4 kN. So, kung i-add nyo yung 3.125 at 0.875, yung value nyan is approximately 4. So, pag approximately 4 siya or equals to 4, therefore, yung vertical reaction natin ay tama. So, proceed tayo sa summation F of X. So, summation F of X na tayo. So, kailangan natin mahanap yung value ng RCX at AX kasi meron tayong horizontal na force na 3 kN. So, kung muna hihirapan kayong ma-determine ito kasi kapag nag-summation F of X lang tayo, hindi natin agad ma-determine yung value ng RCX at AX. So, dito may given tayo ng RCY. So, ito ay component ng RC natin. Or, uh, meaning to say, RC cos 30 is equals to itong RCY natin. Kasi, yung RC, RC natin, pag kinos 30 natin, is RCY. So, RC sin 30 must be RCX. So, alam natin na yung RCY natin ay may value. So, yung value ng RCY natin ay 3.125. So, divide natin both side by cosine 30. So, yung RC natin ay may value na 3.61. So, ito yung resultant ng uh, vertical component ng RCY at RCX. So, ito yung resultant nila at yung value nila ay 3.61. So, pag alam na natin yung RC natin, pwede na natin ma-determine yung RCX. Ano yung formula ng RCX natin? So, RCX is equals to uh, RC. Kung yung RCY natin is RC cos 30, yung RCX naman natin ay RC sin 30. So, substitute natin yung RC. So, yung RCX is equals to 3.61 sin 30. Or yung RCX natin ay may value na 1.805 kN. So, positive siya. Therefore, yung assumption natin na going to the left ay tama. So, RCX is equal to 1.805 kN. So, magsasummation F of X na tayo. So, meron tayong 3 which is positive kasi going to the right. And minus RCX na 1.805. And then yung AX natin which is going to the left. And negative. So, combine natin to magiging 1.195 minus AX. So, move lang natin yung AX para maging positive 195. So, ito na yung value ng AX natin. 1.195. So, now, may value na tayo sa each component. So, pwede nyo yan i-check. So, i-add nyo lang yung left side. So, 1.195 plus 1.8. 0.5, yung answer nyan is approximately 3. So, pag tama or equal sa approximation na 3, therefore, tama yung component nyo. So, now, pwede na tayo mag-moment or mag-proceed sa joint A or joint D or joint C para ma-determine yung uh, problem natin na uh, force in each member. So, unahin natin dito sa joint A. Draw tayo ng free body diagram. So, ito na yung free body diagram ng joint A natin. So, lagyan natin ng A. So, ito yan. So, assuming na yung AD natin is compression, meaning yung arrow is uh, approaching to joint A. So, and yung AB is tension, therefore, papalayo yung arrow sa joint A. So, yung 0.875, it is yung vertical na AY. Sinubstitute ko lang. And then, yung AX natin na going to the left, ito. So, now, pwede na tayo mag... Uh, masolve yung AD at AB, pero yung angle natin is hindi natin alam. So, pwede natin masolve yung angle using tangent theta is equal to opposite, which is 1.5 over adjacent na 2. So, yung theta natin ay may value na 36.9. So, ito, 36.9. So, summation f of y equals 0. Meron tayong 0.875 and then yung AD natin, yun yung uh, Y component or magiging ganito yan. So ganito yan, didiretso lang natin yung AD sa joint A. So ganito, so yung Y component is uh, equals AD. Y component, sine 36.9. So yung AD natin is equals to 0 0.875 over sine 36.9. 
So yung AED is equals to 1.46. So positive siya. Therefore, compression is tama yung assume natin. So next is summation f of x equals 0. So meron tayo AB. Then minus or equals na lang para maging positive. 1.195 plus AD natin na 1.46. X component cosine 36.9. So yung AB natin ay may value na 2.36 kN. So positive siya. Therefore, yung assume na AB natin ay tama. So, AB equals 2.36 kN tension. So, next is joint C natin. So, yung 3.125, yan po yung RCY natin kanina. And yung RCX at BC is naglalay sa isa sa isang uh, direction. Therefore, pwede natin yan ma-add sila dalawa later on in the solution. At yung DC natin is compression. So, ganito yun. Arrow niya papunta sa joint C. But, mas pinili ko na po yung RCY natin kanina and yung RCX at BC is naglalay sa isa sa isang uh, direction therefore pwede natin yan maad sila dalawa later on in the solution at yung DC natin is compression so ganito yun arrow nya papunta sa joint C but mas pinili ko na uh, iitago sya dito sa joint C para maging ganito yan and yung angle nyan is 36.9 so kanina alam nyo na yan so now pwede na tayo mag summation F of Y equals 0. So, meron tayong 3.125 is equals to DC. So, Y component therefore, sign uh, 36.9. So, DC is equals to 3.125 over sign 36.9. So, yung DC natin is equals to approximately 5.2 kN. So, positive. Therefore, yung DC natin is compression. So, compression CD is equals to 5.2 kN compression. So, next summation F of X na tayo. So, summation F of X equals 0. So, meron tayong DC is 5.2 X component cosine 36.9 then uh, equals kasi nasa kabila. BC natin na unknown then plus RCX natin na 1.2 so, ito magiging 4.16 So, ito minus 1.805 equals BC So, sa brack natin to is approximately BC is equals to 2.36 kN So, positive naman siya Therefore, away from joint C tension So, BC equals 2.36 kN tension. So, uh, yung kulang na lang dito is yung dB natin. So, di natin alam yung dB. So, alam na natin yung ito, ito, at given na ito. Therefore, pwede na natin masolve yung dB. So, gagawin lang natin is magsasummation or mag-set tayo ng joint or free body diagram sa joint B. So, ito yung free body diagram natin sa joint B. As you notice, naka-cross siya. So, therefore, yung free body diagram natin is ganyan din. So, yung BC is tension. So, therefore, away from joint B. And yung AB is also tension. Therefore, away from joint B. So, yung 4 kN natin is ito. And yung BD is inassume natin na tension or going upward. So, simple lang to. So, BD equals 4 kN. And AB equals B. C. So, as you notice, yung AB at BC natin is pareho. And therefore, yung BD natin is 4 kN. Equals 4 kN. And yung uh, approach nya is tension. So, ito na yung mga force member sa given figure na trust na ito.